What's going on guys? Apathetic here and today we are reviewing the last Perdition Pulse Rifle. So we're going to discuss the stats on this weapon, how to get it, and lastly, is this thing good in the Crucible? Now let's jump right in. The last Perdition Pulse Rifle is an adaptive frame pulse rifle with a magazine size of 39 and RPM of 3. 90 and lands in your energy slot for the base stats on this weapon you're looking at an impact of 29 50 range 66 stability 49 handling and 50 reload speed as far as the hidden stats go you're looking at aim assistance aim assistance of 60 and real coil direction of 63 so as far as acquiring the last perdition guys there is really only one way and that's through playing in the crucible so it can drop randomly after a match as you rank up in the crucible uh, or turn in to tokens to Lord Shax. Another way to get a great roll on this weapon is by reaching max valor in the Crucible, and this will allow you to purchase the vendor roll from Shax, which is exactly what I did. So let's talk about the perks on this bad boy because they are nasty. So the perks on my vendor roll last perdition are SLO 21 posts, and I chose this site because I felt it was the least invasive of the sites you can use, accurized rounds for that increased range, range finder for the additional range when adsing and lastly rampage where kills with this weapon temporarily grant bonus damage and oh not to mention it also comes masterwork for range so i'm a huge fan of the role in this weapon because it addresses the main weakness stat wise on this weapon as you guys saw from the base stats 50 range is not all that impressive especially when you have pulse rifles like blast furnace or go figure out there with basically max range so having accurized and range finder and a range masterwork is huge and making this weapon much more viable in the crucible i should also mention that if you're looking to get the most range out of this weapon as possible you could also use spl 57 front sight which is the medium zoom sight to further increase the range but at the cost of some handling overall from a feel standpoint this weapon feels very snappy going between adsing and back to sprinting Reload speed definitely leaves a little bit to be desired, but having the appropriate reload perk on your gloves will help. And even without maxing out the range on this weapon, I was still very happy with how the range felt. I didn't feel like there was any crazy drop off. I just made sure not to be challenging blast furnaces from across the map. All right, so does this thing perform in the Crucible? Absolutely. I would say when it comes down to pulses, it allows you to play slightly different play style than say when you're using a blast furnace. The reason I say that is because of the range. With Blast Furnace, the range is so far that it almost encourages you to hang back and just unload on people from a mile away. Because this weapon doesn't have that crazy range, it forces you to be more aggressive and play in the medium range with your opponents and really melt them down. I was pleasantly surprised by how fast I was able to melt down my opponents and that even includes your shotgun apes and some of the clips you'll see guys these guys are pushing me and able to take them down my pulse because i'm just constantly backpedaling and these people are trying to get to a point where they can just close the gap on me and because of the changes to shotguns recently where they nerfed the range a little bit it's a little bit harder to do that now i found people are really thrown off by my backpedaling with this pulse I would definitely recommend pairing this weapon with a shotgun though to better protect yourself at close ranges uh, and for this specific role a rampage mod would pair beautifully to extend that rampage duration just a little longer to really string those kills together but give this weapon a try guys i really enjoyed using it in the crucible i could definitely see it becoming a new community favorite because of the aggressive play style it allows you to play but let me know in the comments below how you think this weapon stacks up against other pulses and if you're enjoying it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Fucking shotgun, you're trash, Chippy. Sound tactic, three victory. Perfect.